Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, today is going to be a sword build. So, this is a weed slasher. And it was Richard Weaponsmith who gave me the idea for this. Um, we'd been looking for some decent metal for making swords. We'd came up with um, like 27 inch machetes, but they're quite hard to get over here. And then Richard said about these. And I reckon this will make a good short sword you know, for bottle slashing and that. So yeah, weed slasher, five pound thirty-eight p with no posted. So even if it, you know, even if it's no good at all, I've got, you know, some metal to make throwing knives out of. So the sword will be approximately twenty-seven and a half inches, or about seventy centimeters long altogether. So it will be a perfectly straight sword, so it'll still be legal. Um, and yeah, and the only legal issues are anyway, curved swords not made to traditional methods. Who says doing it in your shed's not a traditional method anyway? Um, uh, you know. So anyway, this will be the first one of these I've ever made. So I'll probably make the first one quite simple. That's the shape of the tip, a nice pointy tip. I'm going to sharpen about three quarters of one edge and about probably four inches of the other edge. So it'll be able to thrust but it won't be sharpened all the way down. And I'll have the handle so you'll know which way is which. It won't be like a universal handle. Um, I'll know which way has the edge on the front, if that makes sense. I'm undecided on everything on this, really. Um, I just wanted to get on with it and see how it goes. Reasonably flexible, but you know you do get flexible swords. So yeah, I think I'll start it and We'll see how it goes, and if I like how it turns out and it performs well, I'll probably do more. Because you, as I say, you do get flexible swords. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be unusual. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the um, tip off, get the handle off, and see what I've got to work with. Right, I'm going to take the handle off now, I'm just going to swipe this off because it looks like pretty cheap wood anyway. It comes off in one, I'll keep it though. Um, what was I going to say? Nice bonus, get to keep the, keep the scales. Right, so what I've done so far I've done the very basic edge to the sword. It's not really sharp, but it's getting there. I won't sharpen that till the end, I just wanted the edge so I know which way I'm working. <coughs> so the next thing I think I'll do is get all this paint off, and I'll probably just use one of these that I bought. So I'll give that a go now. The blade is essentially ready. Uh, 
if I could redo this I wouldn't use those sanders to um, take the paint off the problem is it's probably scratched out to a degree that I won't be able to get it out now but that's my own fault next time I think I'll just do the acetone method to get the paint off doesn't matter uh, yeah I'll, I'll see what I can do with the sandpaper I've got I might be able to get it looking all right doesn't matter anyway it's just a you know you have a brushed effect don't you so the guard is going to be brass because again that's all I've got and that'll be the basic shape and then that'll leave me just enough for a bowie later on so the first things I'll do is drill for this slit <laughs> So looking at the guard like that, I actually think that would be better, just completely straight. I think that would suit that perfectly for a little sword. I can still do the handle in a way that I'll know how to hold it one certain way. Because I could do either finger grooves or a little bit at the bottom, just so you know when you're holding it which way to have it. So I work on the handle now. Uh, I'm going to see what scales I've got that are long enough, and then I'll work from there. Because this is quite a long handle at the minute. I could always cut some off anyway. getting there not looking too bad I don't think so as for the blade I don't think I'm ever really going to get them scratches out now that's a lesson learned next time just use um, acetone to get the paint off handles looking all right I will finish that soon just need a little bit more sanding so yeah what I'm going to do is pretty much just keep sanding the blade 
see if I can get as good as possible. Sand the handle as well. Sand the guard. And then the sword is pretty much done. If I like it, I'll make a sheath for it, a proper sheath. Um, but yeah, I think what will be next, what you'll see next is probably the lacquering of the handle and then giving the blade the final sharpen and it's done really. Right, there you go, another one day weapon build and we got ourselves there a £10 short sword and I am overall very happy with that in the end um, the only thing I would do differently as I said is I wouldn't use those discs to get the paint off because it's scratched it to, to hell really but um, yeah the overall looks of this like that's nice and it does perform as you saw I'll do some more tests. I'll do some um, full on, you know, lo a load of bottle cutting tests and some thrusts. I forgot to do the thrust for this, the stabs, to see what it would come out like. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. And the other thing this will give me the opportunity to do now is a big long sheath or scabbard, leather scabbard, but with one um, sew line. So what you do, you essentially wrap it round and there's one sew line, and then you flatten it. So I'm going to have a go at doing that for this. Um, might cost me, the, well I'll put it this way, the sheath will cost me more than the whole bloody sword, but um, you know, who, you know, doesn't matter does it. So yeah, there it is, and I've, I think I will do more. Um, they take a lot to grind, get sharp, I'll tell you, that's probably more work getting the edge decent than anything but it's worth it in the in the long run so yeah i'll definitely do another one considering these cost five quid to buy and the next one you know i may try a different style blade definitely won't um sand off the paint and i could do a different handle and all that but yeah i think that came out pretty nice in the end don't forget to watch the rest of the video there'll be some high quality either pictures or videos of this and in a future video i'll do some full-on cutting and the sheath all right so there you go if you want to make yourself a short sword for less than 10 quid that's how to do it all right i hope you enjoyed the video oh thank you to richard weaponsmith for giving me the idea of the um the weed slasher as well so,